who does one pray to? Right. Okay. The first question should be, why do you need to pray? That's a great question. Yeah, because what is prayer? Because someone has taught you that in order to get something, you need to pray to this being God, Allah, or deity to give you this thing. Yeah, which in fact is substitution. Yes. That, that, that aspects of prayer come for substitution. I can't get by myself, therefore I'm going to ask another entity or a being that can R give to me. Right. right. But right. then That's the condition. Yeah. yeah but yeah. ultimately, mm -hmm. when you do get it, it's because of what you've done. Absolutely. You have to get it. You mm -hmm. see, so it's kind of like misdirected power mm. um, because I can get a plate if I'm hungry, yeah? Mm. And put it down and say, I'm hungry, I'm starving, I ain't got no money, mm. I need to eat. Mm -hmm. And I pray all day long to the for food. food. Ain't it ain't coming. <laughs> Bro, the food's not going to come. The food ain't coming. <laughs> you, you have to get up and do something. Yeah. You might have to call someone, uh -huh. lend me some money. Uh -huh. Work as a porter. Do something. something to get the money to go and buy the food. Uh -huh. Prepare it, cook it, or, you know, to, to put it on your plate to on eat. Plate, yeah. So what it is, is people, and I always say this as well, English and the language mm. is also a barrier. Mm. Because when you say pray, you can hear the word P-R-A-Y, mm. but you can also hear P-R-E-Y. Mm. Mean you're being, someone's praying on you. Absolutely. Yeah, so... So you're giving your energy and your power and everything to somebody or something else to give you what you need. Absolutely. But you it's, can it's, do it for yourself. It's a substitution of your power yeah. in exchange for whatever desire or outcome you wish for. Mm. Um, so to turn yourself into a prey is to submit. Yeah. So you're submitting to something greater. Hence the idea or the concept of God in this equation mm. presented by all these religions yeah. uh, as something to submit to mm. in exchange for favours. Yes. Right. So I, I'm totally on yeah. the same page as you there. Yeah. I'm trying to open consideration for those that might not have done so for themselves. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. But the reality is that if you can, if you, if you can ask God for something and you get it, the question then becomes, why doesn't he answer questions for other things? Like, why doesn't he answer the questions of, let's get rid of all the crime in the world, all mm -hmm. the poverty, all the hunger, mm -hmm. all the rapes, murders, mm -hmm. um, anything that we don't like on this planet. We don't co-sign. Yeah, we don't co-sign. Why can't we pray and say, get rid Deal of that? that? Let's go. That's you know what I mean? Because too. yeah, these are the That's types of question. questions we have to ask. 100%. Because because people will be like, even like um, mediums that have TV shows and they they bring people on the show mm -hmm. to say you're going to contact your grandma or someone mm -hmm. that's passed away and mm -hmm. they're going to give you messages and and I'm like, if you can do that, if you really have the power to do that, yeah, can we not have a show where we contact God? Let's go. Or oh, Jesus no. or do you know what I mean? Absolutely. The whole world is listening that day. And let's see if we can get him to do some stuff. Get, fine, get those messages. But it's a, it's a game because they choose when, God, when it, God gets the praise and when he doesn't. Selective outrage. Yeah. So Selective, absolutely. Can he do it or can't he do it? <laughs> what, he will. <laughs> Which one is it? Because I'll put him to the test. No, for sure. And then people will say, like you say, going back to your question, we you can't ask God that. You can't say that. You can't do that. Yeah. But why not? Why not? It's especially considering that we come from the same kind. Mm. You know, most of these holy texts, yeah. that's what they say. They say that we are essentially God's favorite creation. Mm. Hence, you know, when our behavior is bad and we sin and we rebelled against God, it's like, how can my best creation conduct itself in such a manner? Mm. You know, um, my friend recently said something to me extremely powerful in regards to yeah. our aunties and uncles praying. Yeah. He said, when our aunties, mothers and uncles, fathers yeah. pray and they ask God for a new house yeah. or they ask God for a promotion at work, are they not essentially praying to the white man? Mm -hmm. Because if you pray and you say, God, give me a, a raise on my salary, yeah. you're going to go into work and you're going to negotiate 
mm. with your boss for a higher salary. So your initial prayer when you got on your knees was to the white man, not yeah. to God, was it? Exactly, exactly. Um, and yeah, like you said, like, there's so many examples where, because what it is, is it's a game because you have God on one side and you have the devil on one side. Mm. And it's like every time something good happens, they will, get, they will say God did it. Mm -hmm. Every time something bad happens, they say the devil did it. Mm -hmm. But the question is, who's more powerful? Mm. It's got to be either God's more powerful or the devil's more powerful mm -hmm. or they're on equal grounds. Mm -hmm. Now, when you start to ask people, how did this devil come about? Mm -hmm. They say he was once an angel that went bad. Mm -hmm. So the question is, did God know he was going to go bad? And, and he allowed him to go bad mm. and he's allowing him to continue to the do chaos. the chaos and the badness <laughs> and the wickedness on the planet. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, so it's like you say with knowledge and really facts, you get to know that the, these different beings that people are calling God are not what they think they are. Mm. And like you say, um, even to, to, to say I want a promotion, I want to, you can actually create your own job. Mm -hmm. you, you're the one that works to get the house. Everything that you get that is a material thing is you because when a situation happens where like, let's say I've, I've used this example before, two people are in a car mm. and there's a car accident. One dies and one survives. Mm. The people that are religious will say, oh, thank God for the person that survived. Yes. But they don't see in that that who was responsible for the person that died. And if God could save both of them, why not? Why didn't he? Why didn't he? And then let's say even the one that survived was injured badly and they take that person to the hospital and the doctors and the nurses do the work of healing or mending, mending him, yeah, putting him back together. And everyone comes and they thank God for it. But not the workers that got But not the workers that did, did it. And people will say, Oh, but it was it, it was, was God, God that, that worked through them. Worked through them aye, aye, aye. <laughs> it was God that I worked through them. To, speak. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, that's long. <laughs> Why doesn't he just do it? Why yeah, does he yeah, have yeah, to yeah. go through someone to go? Yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? So, yeah, you're, you're asking a, a very, very interesting question. But this is the concept of you cannot pray to the same God as the slave master. Mm. Because when you go to work, you you're slaving and working for somebody else. For the slave else. master. Let's yeah. go. Now we're speaking. So, so the slave master's got more power than you. Let's go. So his God must be answering his prayers. But not yours. But not yours. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go to your, your slave God. master, yeah, yeah, yeah. your God, uh -huh. to ask his God to give you what you a want. Po a, po a portion of the cake. or a portion Yeah, of the a portion of it. A, a very small portion. A tiny portion. Some would even argue crumbs. 